thank you very much for uh, organizing this awareness. I think awareness is the key for everything to do with thalassemia. It's a genetic blood disorder. As you all know, we, we have three types of blood cells in our body. Red blood cells, white blood cells and platelets. And thalassemia is a disorder that affects red blood cells. And it is genetic, so it is region dependent in the world. For example, if you see uh, India has a huge population of uh, patients affected with thalassemia major, say in Bangladesh, Pakistan, Southeast Asia. They did have thalassemia in the Mediterranean and Middle Eastern region, but it's slowly coming down because of increased awareness. So we should do better because in our country, we have 10,000 new births of thalassemia major every year. So this prevention and awareness programs are the key to the future. So to make any part of our body, we need genes from our mother and father, 50-50%. So similarly, to make red blood cells, we get 50% genes from our mother and 50% genes from our father. So uh, about 3 out of 100 people in our population can be born with only one gene. So these are called thalassemia carriers or thalassemia minor or thalassemia trait. Nature has made us like this a little bit different because the 3% of the population in India, they have natural resistance to malaria. So being a carrier of thalassemia is not a disorder, it is not a, a health condition that will affect them in any way except the fact that they have might be reduced hemoglobin. So from outside, if you see them, you will not know that they are carriers of thalassemia, but a simple blood test will detect that they are a carrier of thalassemia. If I am a carrier of thalassemia, I have no problems to my health or my life. But when I am planning pregnancy, it is very, very relevant. So if I am a carrier of thalassemia, I have to test whether my spouse is also a carrier. If both the partners are carriers of thalassemia and both their defective genes are handed over to the next generation, then we can get a baby affected with thalassemia major. This is a very difficult situation to be in because the baby has no genes to make red blood cells. So after they are born, they look healthy because initially they have the fetal blood. But after four to five months, they have to start producing blood and we find that because they don't have the genes to make blood, they are anemic and that's when they come to the doctor and we find that their hemoglobin is low and further tests detects that they have thalassemia major.